sell hides of land and six hundred dollars and make our black. Well, what happens is you can check your email. You want to take a picture and you can just tell them. Yeah. Glass, take a picture. You tell it. Oh, that's right. Take a video, you know. Tell the friend is important. Yeah, you can zoom in. Zoom out. That would be really cool. I don't know. You know, it's kind of like the fighter jet with heads up display. Right? You know, in your eye. Your There's a lady on the news who wears one. She's wearing it for them. She does news uh, uh, segments. So she, she, she had a knee surgery. So while she had the knee surgery, she was wearing it. She was like half awake with a propofol. This is kind of like a side joke she was making while she was half under and she was filming the knee and looking at the doctor and the equipment and yeah they, then they broadcasted it same Maria and Cuban I don't know the channel. Thought, you, uh, that's major surgery she's right. awake it was a meniscus oh okay. yeah okay so yeah, it's the yeah, the, yeah. The, yeah. Like just the two scopes uh, right they, they kind of sculpt it kind yeah, of yeah, yeah. 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 yeah so you can be probably be somewhere at twilight state I'm feeling good <laughs> well that's what I felt when I had my eye yeah. surgery yeah. I was aware of what's happening the whole time. I see, you know, hand reaching into my eye. And wow. Motion. You just like, don't happy, care. you didn't even care. Happy. Huh? Okay, something's hey, going on. I'm aware of that. But wow. You're like, that's the happy juice we call it. Yeah. <laughs> the happy juice. With the uh, yeah. clockwork orange. Uh, yeah. Hold your eyelids open, right? Right. They you don't blink. Yeah. No, they, they do the climb, foot climb forms, yeah. Yeah. but you don't feel it. This, they, they do it after, <coughs> before you wheel into the surgery. Right. They, they give you that and count to ten, three. <laughs> no, ten, nine. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you never. Yeah, you don't make it. Come to no, you don't. You get so fat. Especially someone who's not used to us. You know, some people can have more resistance, some have less. I have none. But <laughs> <Out. Yeah. laughs> I remember my doctor started at three. I don't remember one. Right, exactly. Yeah. All right, so right back in. Okay, so we're going to work on full work. I want to make sure um, everybody's in the shot. <coughs> Good. Perfect. Okay. Okay, now, as we go forward, rather than punching, we're going to go into full stop, okay? From close guard, okay? One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk forward. Same drill, full stop strike. One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, Two, three, four, and walk back. Good. Same, uh, same hand. Uh, rear hand. I'm sorry. Opposite hand. Rear hand. Full side. Okay. One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk forward. Rear hand. One. Two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four. Very good. And one. Very good. Now we're going to double. Front hand, rear hand. Okay? One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, Four. Make sure your feet and your hands coordinate. So, one, two, one, two, one, two. Good. It may be slower, but more power because when you strike, you bring the body weight with you. Okay. The tendency is to go for speed, like, and okay, then the upper body, and the, there is no body unit. You have to have the upper body and lower body together. So strike, this is more powerful than Because now it's just from, from the arm to the elbow. And then pull the body instead. Body, 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 same thing, body, body. Okay? Uh, walk forward. 
same drill. Front hand first, switch. One, two, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Okay, next one. Hooks out, palm down. Next one is palm up. We have jump up. So jump up rather than jump up. It's a linear strike rather than a circuit. Okay. Front hand repeat. One, two, three, four. Feel the body weight behind the foot. Okay. And retreat. One, two. Three, four, and walk forward. We are in front hand. Repeat. One, two, three, four, and repeat. One, two, three, four. Good. And without switching, we're going to use the rear hand first. One, two, three, four. And retreat. One, two, three, four. And walk back. Your hand. Repeat. One, two, three, four. And we retreat. One, two, three, four. Look so walk forward. So for Justin and Loretta. For learning the double swords, you should be making the connection. Okay? This, like this, this will be like this. Okay? So, so, so the blade is like this, or like this, rather than. To see the difference? Mm -hmm. It's not wrong, it's a bigger movement. Okay? So we can, in, in martial arts, we call long movements or short movements. Okay? So, what we're doing is we're, doing, we're extending the Elbow, elbow. Use the elbow as the pivot point. Okay, so we do both sides, right? Okay, walk back. All right. So, uh, that's right. Let's start with the right side. Okay. So the next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a combination. So you're gonna do um, front hand. You're gonna do full out strike. Rear hand. You're gonna do down side. So one, two, one, two. Okay. Foot side for the front. Foot side, front hand. Rear hand, jump side. One, two, one, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four. Very good. Walk forward. Then you throw up front hand, foot out, strike, rear hand, jump, 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 strike. One, two, three, four, and repeat. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Very good. And I'm going to reverse it. Front hand, jump, jump, rear hand, foot out. One, two, jump, jump, foot out. Same thing. Jump, jump, foot out. Okay? One, <laughs> jump up, hooks up. Two, hooks up. Yeah. Three, four, and <clears throat> so jump up. You want to go? You just want to go straight rather than it's very linear. Okay. Yeah. Three. Back, forward, 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 back. Four. Retreat. One. Right. Two. Three. Four. And two. Two more. Five. Six. And walk back. Same thing this side. Start with the uh, Jump up, hook up, jump up, hook up, jump up, hook up. Same thing, jump up, hook up. One, two, three, four. 
suggest you notice you, you bring them back a little bit. Right, so, so you don't want to do this. Use the body. Yeah. Do one more. Five. Good. And retreat. One. That's it. Two. Three. Four. And walk back. Okay. So basically, if you're doing this, right, you can either repeat the same um, concept or switch the concept. Right? The concept is jump song, right? Jump song or hook song. So you can keep doing hook song, hook song, hook song, hook song, jump song, jump song, jump song, jump song, right? Then you can switch between the concept for those. Okay. Now, your the hand that's coming back. If you're just practicing, you're basically doing a wusa, come back to wusa, right? Whichever hand is not you use to come back, right? But in in the store form or in application, exactly. <laughs> Whichever and this concept can come from here, right? Mm -hmm. Whichever hand is used to attack comes back to defend. Alright, so let's just say this will dry fighting sense again, okay? So if I start out with Let's say I'm start up with folk style, right? Single handed like this. One, two, one, two, right? Because you are, it takes two steps to go into your, uh, to do your um, uh, step, uh, dart, right? So attack, defend, attack, defend. Same thing. If I'm doing uh, a jump style, attack, defend, attack, defend. Yeah. It's very important to see that <laughs> rather than being confused, not confused, uh, rather than being stuck on the technique. Okay? Yeah. It's a technique that most people learn is this. When you tell them to be single handed, they have no idea. Because they try to learn this pair rather than seeing, oh, I'm doing attack to defend. Attack defend, <laughs> which was addressed in the four corner defense on D slash O drill. Right? Boots up. Hands up, all right? Hands up. Hands up. Strut jumps up. Okay? So the very first two becomes this. If I start with boots up strike, which is. Right? So. Folks out strike, come back this way. Right? From here, hands out. So if I isolate only this, it will be like this. No, no, actually, reverse like that. Yes. That's why fighting can be easily converted to self defense and, and vice versa. Because. Self defense is you're defending Defend first. Right? He's attacking first. That's called self defense. You're defending yourself. The fighting is you're engaging him. See, most people tend to confuse the two. Self defense most likely will be you as an unwilling participant in this struggle. You don't want to fight, but he forced the issue. Okay? You, you, you know, you try to reason with him, you just say, Fuck, I'm just gonna mess you up, right? Comes in with a straight, a hook, whatever, okay? You're just trying to defend yourself. The best way to defend is to make sure he doesn't attack again, right? <laughs> right? Okay. Right, that's the aggressive mindset of a Wing Chun practitioner, okay? He only gets one chance. I don't want him to have another chance to throw another punch. The more time I involve myself in this conflict, the more likely I'm gonna get hurt. It's just probability. Right? He throws up 100 punches, one or two or three or ten is going to hit. That's just how it is. It doesn't matter how good you are. The chances of getting hit is that much greater as you linger in the fight. Right? Unless you just don't engage him, you just run away. You just kind of move around, not even engage him. Yeah, you never get hit. Yes, of course. Right? The best way to end the conflict is to make sure he doesn't get another chance. So we have a saying, you start, I finish. Right. We won't start 
okay, because you don't want to hurt it, but if you press the issue, if you press the issue, then we have to end the conflict soon, very quickly, okay? So if I'm right here and he throws a hook or throws a straight, I'm doing this. I want to make sure. Right? I don't just defend. Defending, he's going to throw another punch. Right? So if I use one arm only, I'm doing two feet fighting. If I use both arms at the same time, I'm using one feet fighting. Okay? Whenever possible, you want to use one feet fighting. It should end the conflict very much faster. Right? Yeah. Because yeah. He, no matter how, how fast he needs to go, one, two, right? He needs, unless he throws both punches at the same time, he still needs to throw one at a time. Right? <laughs> okay? So that's just how we, we are as humans, you know. Uh, of course, in Wing Chun, you have double punching, but that's, that's you sparing Because you have no defense now. See, if that miss, then I have not covered. That's why very few people do double punching. It's only when the opportunity calls for it, call for it that you do the double punching. All right, you don't just go boom. But if you miss, right, or if you, you know, so you want to that. Again, you, go ahead. I'm sorry to interrupt. Would the Popeye be considered double punching? Yes, because yeah. it's a different tool. Right. right. And you just yeah, the Popeye is your palm and fist. Yeah. A big hand close this. Yeah. It's up to you. But you can have one palm, one fist. One fist, one palm. It's up to you. Yes. Right? Remember yin yang? Yeah. You can up, you know, flip this thing upside down, yeah. sideways. Side palm. Yeah. In fact, some people practice a double palm. One vertical, one horizontal. Nothing wrong with that. Okay? It's, again, depending on how you flip the symbol, it can be any way you like. It's still seeing them. Okay? Okay. So so when you practice something like this, you have to see, all right, I'm using the rear hand to defend. Right? Rear hand to defend. Well we we're taught from day one is that concept of continuous flow, continuous motion. Okay? Maybe maybe I'm the only one who coined this phrase, but all the young guys know about. This concept of just keep going. Just keep going, okay? If you defend, attack. If you attack, defend. Defend can take uh, two forms. Can either you proactive or, or um, um, proactive, which is which is a trap, okay? More a passive, which is a defense. Trapping is if I touch his arm, uh, touch his hand, I'm going to trap him. Most guys say, punch, you have the other hand. You could be doing this. The minute it comes into contact, then you, you need to be proactive. You need to do a preemptive strike. Right? Now, unless it is one, two, you get hit once, you can throw the other hand. That would be defensive. It depends on what you do, or where, how you take contact. For example, if we're here, it's right by his head. Right? And he throws, uh, Say he throws the, um, uh, the rear hand, okay, rear hand in a, in a hook. They go like this, right? Okay, see there's, there's no, the, the basket's not being, being guarded. He's not doing this. Okay, so this hand could, could fly in right away. So it comes again, right? So boom, I'm just gonna go, right? See? But if he trap, he, he catches that, right? Comes in, oh, 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 see the difference? Now I gotta be sure, this hand, Okay? This is where you're going to sticking. You feel it. Then you're going to trap it. That's a creative strike. Depends on whether he darts or not. If he darts, you take care of that arm, you trap that so it doesn't come back and bite you. you know? Okay, very good. Uh, so, the next one, uh, right fighting stance. Uh, is oh we, we did both already one we did the uh, uh out and then jump out the next one we did a jump out then fook out yeah right okay mm -hmm. see it come back right see? <laughs> okay right so see the root the, this is the root okay before we do this okay hands out first hands out okay and then 
uh, jump up. So look, comes back. This is the drill. See? Wu sap is neutral, which means it can be anything or it can be. So in the case that he's not defending, bring it back. If he's defending, then you trap. So the drill, the Hansa defense, one, two, and the drill becomes, becomes one, two. The other way is Fuxa. Fuxa, a, a defense, right? Fuxa. Uh, a Paksa, rather. Because your you're, 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 Fuxa becomes a Paksa. Mm -hmm. So it be like this. One, two. Basically, you just, basically you just reverse, reverse it. Either you start with a Tansa, end with a uh, Paksa, or you start with a Paksa, end with a Tansa. Mm -hmm. But they also add the lansa or switch the lansa with the pop. Right, right. right. Different it depends on the situation, right? Yeah. Yeah. But since we're only discussing these two, yeah. okay, so you exhaust all yeah. possible. We have to exhaust rather than saying, oh, I can go through that, but have you exhausted? All right. Okay, that's, that's important. Mm -hmm. That is the dimension, dimensional concept. How many ways can I use these two movements? You want to find all the possible applications before you move on. From neutral, from defensive, from uh, proactive or active, yeah. to passive, passive and active, actually. Yeah, active or passive. So if he attacks and I defend, that's passive, right? Yeah. I'm receiving. Yeah. So, so we're in the fight, right? Fighting thing. He throw, he throws a from hook, from hook. Okay. I'm, I'm defending. This is a call. Passive. I'm defending. Yeah. Once you're on your defense. You're still calling it passive? You know, you're from, from this, this okay. It's very important to see from which that's, yeah, from this hand point of view, I'm defending because I'm waiting for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Now this will be active or proactive. It will be like this. See, no, I'm, I'm actually attacking. Oh, right? right? See, I don't wait for you. I, don't, I know who's going to get me. So before that can happen, yeah. I'm nullifying. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? Okay. So, in Bruce Lee's, in the words, in Bruce Lee's words, that will be intercepting the mind. Mm -hmm. I can yeah. intercept your hand, I can also intercept your mind. Well, because that is the I'm gonna intercept that even before you have a chance to do that. Mm -hmm. Either before or after, it's very simple. You mean, <laughs> you want to wait for it, or I need to make sure it doesn't even occur. Yeah. Okay? So you could intersect it with a this, with this center line tap. Yes. Without you intercepting. Right. Okay. I, I know either hand can come towards me. You can use the front hand with the rear hand. Mm -hmm. But if I want to control both hands, the know. best way is to control one hand and attack with the other. Okay, I get it. That's psychology because what <laughs> I lost the move, right? I lost an arm and, and something coming. I need to use the other arm to defend myself. What best way to control both arms with one move? <laughs> right? Guarantee it. He's going to try to defend himself because it's a threat coming at coming at him. Yeah. That allows you to have you know, time to develop into other things. You know? So that's what we do. You know, we stay right here, right? And we do this drill all the time. We go. One, see, see what happens. This is the worst that can happen. He either so busy with the trap arm and gets hit, or he's any good, he's gonna, right? That's reality. Either he takes it because it's not a skill, or he defends against it because he's skilled. Right? So from there, he developed us stitches. So okay, I'm going to do something to go. One. Two, yeah. he has to do that. You know why? His arms are out. If this is not as, as efficient, she's gonna go. She's not gonna go. You can see that? That is that. Because now you're taking too much time. Yeah. The quickest way is a straight line, B line to the, to the center line, try to cut it off. Okay. Right. So after doing this several times, that's what you see. You see it. He has to do that. <laughs> okay. This is not history. It's just, it's just human movements. 
and we study the movements. We know how we're going to respond. We have no choice. We're putting in a situation, he has to pick that. He said, pick A. He has to pick A. <laughs> if you pick D, he's got hit. Right? So the boxers respond to that. The boxer is in street mode without the glove on. He'll still. They yes. Still do yes. Okay. It's sad. It's sad. Yeah, if, you punch, that, right? if you throw a punch, you score just slap. That's how they respond. Yeah, it yes. Okay. okay. No oh, other bird man too. Huh? It doesn't matter. Yeah. 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 He's yeah. gonna. He's gonna do the most most comfortable thing. Is just do this. We'll do this. That's what they do. You know, that's what they get taught. Trust me, if you ask Bob, someone throws a jab, they, uh -huh. that's what they do, one, two. So they're taught that's right. that right. one right. concept, two feet. Yeah. Okay? You're giving two arms. Just both at the same time. Okay? Yeah. So, you know, it's a, it's a different, it's a different, one's a sport, one's, right. a, one's a fighting art. And you come across with guys on the street, they have a little bit of practice. They, a lot of guys have a little bit of boxing. Right, right. And then if you throw something at them, they're going to try to address that issue. Mm -hmm. Okay? So what best way is to make sure both arms are immobilized. By controlling one arm and attacking with the other. That way, he has to, I mean, if he's trained at all, he's going to blow it. I imagine they just attack that just out of sheer um, reaction. They just start throwing wild. Yes, that's what they yes. do. Okay. Yeah. But if you cut the neck. Right. <laughs> right. Mm -hmm. right. So when you practice, we do, we do this. In reality, we do we cut the neck. Mm -hmm. Right? The neck and the neck and the neck and the neck. Right? <laughs> so you just you do the same thing, except you do it in a trained fashion. You do rapid punching that you bring the right, so, so here we go. One, two, three, four, five, five. It's all neck, neck, neck. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> right? Then if he's throwing this punch, he's going to get hurt first. Because this is longer. Okay? It takes longer. These are bigger movements. It takes longer time. I'm just going to go in right towards the neck. Keep going. He, he can swing bones. Swing bones. Throw the neck. Throw the neck. That's all you're doing. Foot start, jump start, foot start, jump start. Right. Okay, so let's do a repeat concept with the switch concept with one arm. Same arm. Okay? Okay, so from here, right fighting stance, right? You can go foot start, jump start. Foot start, jump start. Right? Let's do it two darts. Right. Folk stuff, jump stuff. You get to two ways. One, depends on if he's going away. Mm -hmm. If he's going away, it's then you just follow, case. right? So for now, you're going to go one, two, one, two. Okay? Ready? One, two, one, two, one, two. You retreat. One, two, one. Two, one, two, and walk back. And left side, same thing. So one count, two movements. One, pull out first. So you go, one, ready? One, good. Two, three, four, Sleep. What? Sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay, and retreat. Push out first. One, two, three, four. Good. Okay, and walk forward. Was I doing it wrong? You wanted two thirds? Yeah, but not. Yeah. Everything can be done one, two ways, at least two ways. Yeah. Right? You can go. One, two, we can go one, two. One, two, or one, two. Yeah, and or, or what you had us do was just one. Right, so this is the, the first, the first one we're doing. All we're doing is two, two darts. 
Okay, the first one. one, two. one yeah. is correct. Yeah. Then one. Yeah. Okay, group one. We've got what to accomplish that. Okay, now we're going to do one, one dart, which is two steps. You do two movements. From here, hooks out, jumps out, hooks out, jumps out, hooks out, jumps out. Okay? One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Same drill. Hooks out first. One, two, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, four. Good, and walk, walk back. Very good. Okay, the next one, we're going to work uh, the same thing, just reverse it, okay? See, by now, it's so glaring. Yeah. <laughs> See, you, I give you one, you automatically figure out the other. Okay, he started with the fuksa, and then the tansa. That's just tansa, fuksa. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's not measuring the other Okay? Now, if you, if you watch some of the Augustine Fong video, mm -hmm. he loves it. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. All right. So the next one will be, of course, hook saw. I mean, uh, jump saw, hook saw, jump saw, hook saw, jump saw, hook saw. Okay. So it's just like we did the last time, mm -hmm. two steps and two strikes. Jump saw, hook saw, jump saw, hook saw. Okay. One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two. Three, four, and walk forward. Same drill. Jumps on first. One, two, three, four, and retreat. One, two, three, four, and walk back. Very good. Okay, now, if we were to translate that into the sword. <laughs> Right? The same thing, right? Hooks up, jumps up, jumps up, hooks up, jumps up, hooks up. Right? Whenever you see a sword, just think about this as your hand. This is a hand. This is a hand. This part is here. This part is here. How you position the blade? See? How do you play? Tan Sao is also a Jiang Sao, depends on the direction. This will be Tan Sao, this will be Jiang Sao. Okay? This will be Pak Sao, see Pak Sao, Kuk Sao. <laughs> okay, you need to realize, oh, Pak Sao, oh, Pak Do. Tan Do, Pak Do, Tan Do, right? See? That's it. When you finish defending an attack, when you finish defending an attack, yeah, See, I learn, you learn, like I, that's why I told everybody, when you're learning empty hand, you are learning swords. Yeah. That's it, you know? It's like, okay, let me show you the swords. It's like a secret. It's not a secret. You know, people still have this idea. Okay, when, I, when I do the black belt, I know, I know more than the other guys. Now I'm getting black belt stuff. <laughs> not one of those stuff. <laughs> it's the same thing as it's the black belt. You know, or, or yellow or brown, it's the same thing. You just patch it differently. You still use the front snap kick, rear kick, side kick. You still do that when you do the block out form. <laughs> okay? That's why you have so many forms when you reach block out. You have to learn a dozen forms so you can test them. But just repackage the same stuff, repackage. Still rising block, still outside block, inside block, downward block. <laughs> you don't see anything different. You still go, go through the same thing. Right? Okay, so that's why we don't need a lot of forms. We, we, we strive to understand on a deeper level the meanings of human movements. When they get the black belt, I think I remember you, one time you said they learned the, the one beat and they go like this. Right, exactly. <laughs> But so like, it's a form, but it doesn't translate. <laughs> the instructor's fault. <laughs> Hello? 
<laughs> showing you this stuff, and why aren't you applying that? Do you see the idiocy in there? <laughs> okay. What is the founder trying to tell you? So there is a one defining there. Outside block plus this punch. All right. Rather than one, two. One, two. Let's go. Together. Open hand, close fist. That's it. Okay, so, so this is the person who studied and learned the system from his master. Now when he starts to teach, he, he needs to let it practice it. He needs to stop. Hmm. Oh, that's called outside lock. Can I do a gamma block? Oh, can you, can you do this then? Oh, can you do this then, right? That's a concept, but unfortunately they're not taught concept. They're not taught the thing. Oh, don't don't do that because now you're you're bastardizing the, the, the style. It's not meant to be that way. Okay. Says who? Okay? He was like, God gave you gave you free will. Correct? Right? If you're religious, you're talking to that term. Think for yourself. Oh, there's another thing. God helps those who help themselves. Aha! It's the same way by faith. No, do something about it. Change it. You know? Oh, I'm so fat. But do something about it. You say, you brought exercise, right? Free will. Yeah, we've got to have that. Don't don't just take what I say, what anybody says on face value. You don't ever do anything other than this. You need to question. Why not? Hmm, let's figure out. Can I do anything else with that and still be valid? That's the stuff. Okay? Alright, very good. <coughs> so um, so it's the same thing as this, right? So if I do, if I can do one hand, okay, one, two, which is um, fuksa and tansa, fuksa, tansa. What if I do one uh, uh, attack, one defense, fuksa, tansa, fuksa, tansa, or fuksa, jamsa, fuksa, jamsa, both. Uh, Offensive, right? Attack, attack, one well, attack. Mm -hmm. Same thing, if I do this. Mm -hmm. Rather than. Right? See how you make this guy work for you? Mm -hmm. Constantly. Mm -hmm. Thinking again. Okay, he shows me offensive. Oh, anything offensive can be used to defend. That's hands out offensive. This is Tansa offensive. This is Fuxa offensively. This is Fuxa defensively. And now some people call it Hatsa. <laughs> right? Or Lansa. Doesn't matter what, what you call it. The, right. the easiest way, as my teacher would, would coin the phrase, coin the phrase, Reduce everything you do to the lowest denominator. Rather than uh, 5 over 10, 1 over 2. Reduce to until you couldn't reduce anymore. That's how you want to be. That is the epitome of simple, efficient effect. Right? Don't do two moves if you, if you can get away with one. Don't do three if you can get away with two. And everything you do it has to have meaning. <laughs> Not singular, but plural. How many ways can I apply this? Right? The application should be multiple. From, because all you can do is ask yourself this question. What, what's a point of view? Offensive point of view? Defensive point of view? Striking point of view? Locking point of view? Uh, Take down, throw it. You know, you, you subject the movement to all these different applications. Um, to find now, you can't really, you can't really throw it down. They used to give up. Can, you, can I find a way to, to throw it? You used to throw it? Can I use it to lock? Okay. Can I use guns to lock? Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
oh, there's a gun cell in, in, the, in the jump cell. Climb cell. Because you're doing the climb cell with one arm. <laughs> Which is this. <laughs> Which is this. Dan cell. Dan cell. <laughs> right? Yeah. See, that's the view we do see. If I can, if I can do a both bo arm, jump cell. Gansa, hmm, how, how, what if I use turn Gansa into a jump cell? Okay, look at the third one. Gansa, jump cell, jump cell, Gansa, <laughs> jump cell, jump cell, together. Power of concept. How, how exciting this stuff is. You know, most people only see the quantum, quantum number one, quantum number one. But they don't see all well, because they don't bother to take it apart. You do one both arms, do one arm. Right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
right? And so we're doing exactly the same thing. Okay? So you're, it's, it's switching, pure switching. You're not sw only switching the concept, uh, the concept, but you're also switching your, your, your hand. Okay? Alright, so what do I say forward? We'll start with the uh, Tan Sao, followed by Pak Sao. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. And retrieve, same thing, Tan Sao first. One. Two. Three, four, walk back. Same drill, rear hand, hands up, front hand, focus up. One, two, three, four, retreat. One, two, three, Four. Walk back. Good, let's take a break. Remember, put some water trees in the top there. <clears throat> so I don't know if I, if I do this on regular strikes, but something I'm noticing is that uh, in the tree, mm -hmm. the second strike, yeah. I'm landing with my heel and tires. I'm not sure. No. So if I'm going to get food, I have a first few minutes on one. There's nothing wrong with that. You can drop it. Yeah. Unless yeah. so you need to kick. Then it's okay. 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 So yeah. should I time so it? Time, my head. Head. time the heel drop with it. Right. I got to do the contact. I can get all, all the way on the ground. Uh, you know why? Either way, you, you can. Move. You can. Yeah, it won't work. When well, you drop the heel, you will stay there for a box. Yeah. It's just, I think what's happening is that. Because I'm lifting the heel to move, it seems like I, I get to my final destination <laughs> with my toe to first. Then, then do it this way. Repeat guys this. Yes. Show my daughter. Yeah. Same thing. Down, 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 That's what I'm doing. I she had this weird. And she was uh, like, kind of so bad. And then she said, so sit down in between where yeah. it's kind of straight. Okay. Right. So that's one, two, and three. Somehow you have to show me that. Uh, 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 I did it the way she did. I show you that. Oh, yeah. 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 But I didn't spell it out. Did you actually physically do it? Roundhouse? Yeah. That's it. It has an arch. Okay, so it's one double check. Right. Because when you sit up, you can sit again. One, two, sit. Okay. Yeah. It'll go in out. Rea I, I, in reality, it doesn't one, two, or three. <laughs> I can feel it right here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Right? See? Okay. So see. Get, okay. Cool. See, the difference, yeah. the only yeah. difference, difference like you talked about, you go back to the bar, last, last second, you can work out, last second, go there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. If I'm just guarding so you, one, two, you can do it here. If I'm going to do it back, one, two, and three. Which is the sword. Right. Exactly. Yeah. Like that. If we get a little bit of a but yeah. if you actually hit like, some of these zips on the water, it comes together. Yeah. It uses the, the shim. Right, and that's good. Okay. Yeah, she was doing something here. Mm -hmm. Crescent kick's a real kick, but not for the HD. But not what you're doing. <laughs> no. No, no, that's not what I was trying to get her to do either. It's a like. She was a sports baseball. Uh -huh. Yeah. She's two pretty good softball. She didn't start out good, but she ended good. That's cool. Yeah, that's cool. Questions? <clears throat> Maybe a little off subject, but uh, rear hand pop sound with pop do. What is that? Is that similar? Well, or is that pop do? You don't want to disengage. Okay, see, the pop sound in the rear in, in the front of the hand is going back like this. Yes. That. In, in the dough is a sword you want to You don't want to disengage. Okay. You don't want that because if the sword is you don't have full control, you don't have full control, it will slip and they'll cut you. So the hot dough becomes like this. It really looks like a line sound, high level or low level. 
you're just uh, just you're, um, um, smacking. That's mm -hmm. yeah. Of course, you can do this, which is a line sign. Or this, right? So and that's the same for rear hand and front hand. Right. Except the rear hand, you know how we would just do a clock coming out. Right. It's just a simple. The, yeah. Well, the front hand. The front hand is this. Yes. Same. Rather than. Oh no, I, I'm not. No. Nah, I'm yeah. sure they're coming. Right. I want to make sure that the blade. <clears throat> so there's a lot of climbing mm -hmm. involved. Yeah. Okay. Whether it's with against a longer weapon or short weapon, you climb, which means you don't want to disengage. There's a sticking to it. Yeah. What? Say, say this is this is a weapon, right? Once I defend, I want to continue climbing, climbing. Because if I don't, if I, yeah, is that it's okay to, to get hit with with bare hand. It's not okay to be cut with, with a weapon. Okay, so that's the difference. The difference between weapons. The only difference is you're always conscious of the sharpness of, of his weapon. That he can easily cut you or stab you. So you want to have that control. So you, you, you know, now you, you have this control. See, there you go. Here, well, this, right? Okay. Now I'm going to continue controlling that. Again and again and again. That's why you have this right. movement, okay? He has footwork to that. Right. You right in. You go in, right. In the, in the beginning, you know, cut and then you cut, cut. You, you move in from distance and just continue cutting, okay? You can come back from, from under or from or over, mm -hmm. right? It depends on your goal. Here, here, okay? I can go this way. It becomes a lot of Side to side. All we're doing is um, hansa, okay, and done. Hansa, hansa. You're doing hansa, hansa. This is without moving. It looks like this. Okay. 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 Uh, take away one arm. Okay. You can just do it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, see how, right? This, this is very, if you take away nothing of this box, you can learn to deconstruct it. Whatever a people show you, learn it, perfect it, take it apart. Now you, you, you see, oh, basically my arms are doing the same movements in reverse. That's all. Okay? So from here, my right hand is going to go full sound, strike. Well, my left hand is going to do a tansa. Once, right? Okay, right? Here. Two. 
simple, complex, simple, complex. And from here, I'm simple. One, simple. Two, complex. Three, simple. Four, four, complex. Five, simple. Six. So whichever hand is in the front, you can drop that out. Whichever hand you use to attack, okay? To the right side. One, drop. Two, three, four, five, six, and retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six, and walk back. And left side. Same drill. One. Two, three, four, five, six, and retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. Let's walk back. One more time. And now it's easy to get lost. All you have to do is remember whichever hand you use to strike, that hand gets you to be in the front. Alright? One. Three hand defense. Three hand defense. Okay. Back, back to back to the uh, right step forward. You're using your left hand to defend. One. Rear hand to defend. Which is your left hand. So see here, yeah. yeah. rear hand. Oh, okay. Right. okay. One. One. We sorry over from the yeah. beginning. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Back up a little bit. Back up a little bit. Just all over. Yeah. Yeah. Rear hand to defend. Okay. Yeah. One. Two. Which hand did you use? There you go. That was my business. Three. Are we That's the same thing with this switch. Right. The right attacking hand so does right defense. Yeah. Four. That's right. Five. Six. Good. Retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Walk forward. Same here on the left side. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Retreat. <laughs> One. Two. Okay, let's go right. <laughs> I know what I did wrong, and then I throw us. Okay, so maybe I rush, I rush you guys. Uh, let's let's do it. Um, uh, standing still, okay? So from ground fighting stance, so you're not moving at all. So all you're doing is switching from, from simple stance to complex. Because after you finish, okay, you're using the front hand, right? Front hand to attack. One, two. Three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, walk forward. Okay, you notice the difference between walking and moving and not moving? When you don't move, you start when you list other joints. Mm -hmm. Namely, your nearest neighbor, mm -hmm. the, the hips. Okay? Same thing here. Defending with the rear hand, tansa. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And now we're going back. Not, not literally, just thinking. One, two, three, four, five, six, 
two, three, four, five, six, and walk back. Very good. Okay, let's try again. Okay, so a dart. Take your time, no rush. You're defending with your rear hand, so you should be simple when you finish. One, two, complex. Three, simple. Four, complex. Five, simple. Six, complex. Retreat. One, simple. Two, complex. Three, simple. Four, complex. Five, simple. Six, complex. Okay, walk forward. Same thing with the left side. One. Go back, go back. Left side forward, left side forward, left side, left side forward. Yeah. Okay, one more time. One spirit. Defending with the rear hand. One. See that? You are three with the front, front hand. hand. Yes. Defending with the rear hand. One. Good, that's it. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very good. Retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Walk back. Good. Very good. All right. Let's do one more set on both sides. Okay, the right side again. This will be just two before we go on to the next stage. One. So the the trick the, the part I think is that we start off rear hand defense, but when we end up down there we start with front hand defense. Right. right. That, that's a scary that's the part that, that <laughs> that's what it's all like, about. Where was that? That's what your mind is. It's a, it's really a, a mind game because you have to really attach the mind to the body. Yes. Yeah. Yes. You know, you start this way, you end up differently, then you're dis disoriented. But you, have, you should be able to pick up wherever you are and move on from that, that point yeah. on. Because, just, because you gotta remember, when you finish... Complex. Oh. So it's the opposite. Okay, I just use this hand to attack, and you can defend it and defend with it. Okay? Yeah. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> okay, rear hand defense to start. Time stop. One. Two, three, four, five, six, three, one, two, three, four, five, six, walk back. Same drill with the left side, your rear hand defense, Hansa, right hand. One. Right hand defense. Two. Zero. Yes. Three. Four. Leave it out. Leave it out. Leave the right arm. Yeah. Five. Six. And three. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very good. Walk forward. Excellent. <clears throat> Alright, we'll do the same thing, except this time we'll do your favorite. Start with the hand defense. <laughs> well, because the guy has two arms. Right? See, if he goes like this, of course he'll be doing this. If he goes like this, of course he'll be doing this. Okay? So this is how you should think. Okay? So now all we're doing is changing from defending with the rear hand to defending with the rear hand to defending with the front hand. Because we've done this. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. okay, now all we're doing is one, two, three, four. The rest looks the same. <laughs> the starting mm -hmm. point is different. Whether you start with the front hand, you start with the rear hand, pretty soon they're all jumped up together. Right. Starting with the front hand, starting with the rear hand. You know? 
Okay. All right. All right. I'm just going to do very quickly one one set each side. Okay. So starting with the front hand, hands up defense. One. Which hand did you just? Yeah. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Oops. See now you end up with simple because your starting point is different. Okay, go back. Front again. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Good time. Six. Okay, walk forward. Same drill. Starting with the front hand defense. One. Okay. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. And retreat. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Very good. Okay, switch to the right side. Okay, again, without move, without moving, just, just staying still. You're going to switch back and forth without going back, without returning to the center. You're going to reestablish from wherever you are. So it looks like this. Okay, start with the rear hand defense. One, two, three, four. Okay, so basically you're doing this. That's all you're doing, okay? It looks kind of, oh, it looks so different. If you take it apart, I went to all those fuksa, hansa, fuksa, hansa, fuksa, hansa. That's all you're doing, okay? All right, so without moving, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, ten. Walk forward. Rear hand defense. Hands up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Walk back. Okay. So, one step, one attack. One, two, three, four. Okay, yeah, just like the sword. Mm -hmm. Oh, you have none. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. So the right side. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. And retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Walk back. So you draw on this side, rear hand defense, your right hand. One, two, three, four, five, six. Retreat. One. Two, three, four, five, six. Walk forward. One more set. Same drill. One. Now, rear hand first. Two, three, four, five, six, and. Retreat. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. And walk back. Excellent. This side. Left side. One. Rear hand. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Retreat one, two, three, four, five, six, 
and break. Good job, good job. Interesting. It's hard not to want to do something right away after after the first, like pulling the other leg back. You feel like doing something else. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. right. It's hard. That's the yeah. That's the yeah. 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 Yeah
I can att defend with palm up, attack with a palm up. Then just say, I want a yin yin, yang yang, or yin yang, or yang yin. <laughs> right? So it's up to you. It depends on the circumstances. But just by understanding and following the principle of yin yang, it's endless possibilities. Two, turns into four, turns into eight, turns into sixteen. And it's combinations. Just do the experiment. Is there a training like, uh, I guess it's kind of reminiscent of some of the, some of the old kind of movies or whatever, but I mean, if you just have, you know, like two poles and pads, right, and you're the arm and just kind of applying everything you just said, it puts footwork, you know, you're just coming in at different angles and just. What? Well, yeah, that's basically yeah. Master Wong does that. <laughs> if you watch some of his training videos, he, he's very nice when he's training private lessons. He's very, yeah. very caring, very careful. He doesn't abuse the students like, you know, who? <laughs> won't mention his name. Yeah. Okay. So, Maxwell and he has a persona. Maxwell on TV. Stop <laughs> talking, you know. You know, that's just how he is. So, when he's training privately, people do that. They're private, the students who go to him. You know, with a friend, they, they shot the entire thing. You can see him using this sort of double ended sticks with had a boxing door. So you do this, you do you know, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I used to do that when I was first starting out. You get a friend? Just try it. <laughs> no, I was training that way. You know, uh, yeah. I had, you know, the, the, the gloves on the each end. Yeah. Jabbing motion, smashing motion. But it's not the same as a live party. No. Yeah. It's like, well, I, I should be engaged. I'm right? engaging my right. 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 rather than using this inanimate object. Uh, but the, uh, the, of course, the danger is because you're training someone who's less experienced, accidents happen. But hey, we protect yourself at all times. You never forget your Musa. <laughs> <laughs> then when you're feeding the you know, training, you should always have your Musa. You know? Right? <laughs> but when you start doing that, you, you, you find out what else can be done. Mm -hmm. It's just a journey that's full of discovery. Mm -hmm. When you start showing people something, inadvertently you will see, oh, wow, I can do that. You're saying, I can see that. Yeah. So, for, for example, if we were doing this, right? We were the grill, right? And he, his, 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 um, he's trying the front hand, attacking the rear hand, okay? Okay, so there's different pressure from the new stuff. So he's doing that to me. Yeah? He's just a neutral, very neutral. I'm just simply defending. I'm just doing this. Okay, so eventually, I say, oh, start defending, I can attack. Right? This is how you learn by doing. So when you're showing somebody, you, just, you start to see, hey, Defense, offense, defending, you know what the attack. Right? If you can trap me, I can trap you too. So this is what happens. And then, you get the trap. <laughs> right? Yeah. So pretty soon, there's a drill. It's called, hang in. No, don't, don't do this. Yeah, yeah that's the tendency. It's yeah. to catch. Okay? Then that's not realistic. You want to do this. Defend, trap. Defend, yeah. Rather than, yeah. Nice. Uh -huh. right, right, right. you know, right. Because this is not the only solution. The drill is this, right? A defend, a trap. He defends, he traps. Right. In reality, that doesn't have to be because eventually it becomes when he attacks. It. Mm -hmm. Okay. So there, that's. What I'm talking about, then you start to see. Yeah. Right? Wow. Okay, okay, well, let's see. Hmm. So he's going go here and go, hmm. Or, you see, he come here, it's trap. And I want to make sure this hand is trapped. So I'm trapped by turning the pants out. And so that's the pox up thing to make sure you can control that.
Okay? We have to see, we have to see from the combat, it's not just from K to Z, but rather it goes through this process. Before it gets there. Okay? So it's, it's not the beginning and the end. You should see all the in between movements. So, this piece does a lot of control. Okay? Very good. Yeah, all right. It's a lot more advanced than six. <laughs> it's, it's just because it's nothing new when you, you think about it. It's nothing yeah. new, right? We're not, what we're doing right now, you, you know this for, for years. Okay? <laughs> just, we're just going deeper, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay? And by, by practicing this way, you get a glimpse. Not a glimpse, you are learning how to fight with swords. Because even if you don't take one lesson of double sword fighting, you know how to fight. No difference. You pick up two sticks, you can fight. You know? That's all. The only difference is the Qing. Qing yeah. is very important when you don't have a lot of room to, to, to maneuver. You should be able to generate a lot of power from this short distance. Rather than having to go. That's why I'm always very critical of you guys who you make unnecessary movements. You know, like going before you go before you go forward. Like if your if your hand is here, right? You don't want to do things like this. And that's normal for, for the human brain to want to have more distance. We, we don't want to be proud as humans. We don't want to have a lot, a lot of room to, to, you know, to move around. Uh, Wing Chun defies that and conditions you to be comfortable in a very tight space. Just in case, it's always easy to use a lot to have a lot of room when someone says, I'm proud of you. So that's not what we trade for. We trade for that time. We don't have a lot of room, right? So that's why people say, "Got have some savings for rainy days, <laughs> just in case you need it. You have it. Oh, I don't have money. I need this big surgery, and insurance only cover half of it. What happens? You want to make sure you have that. Ah, when you need it, that's um, insurance. Or insurance. Yeah, that's why we buy insurance. <laughs> Good job, guys. Oh, you know what? Ah, it's my fault. You know what? I don't think...